Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, some of the weather data that I've been analyzing still suggesting a storm-free weather pattern next uh, several days with the uh, bigger weather story, at least in the short term, being the temperatures. Some of the coldest air of the season is upon us. Doppler radar is fairly quiet. Not only is the atmosphere cold, <laughs> we know that, we've stepped outside, but it's also very dry, so with the lack of moisture, it's really hard to create any uh, precipitation since our snowstorm back on Saturday. So quiet in downtown Providence and points beyond under clear to partly cloudy sky. Most areas now are in the upper 20s, so already below freezing on a light northwest breeze at 6. Humidity levels remain uh, on the dry side now, coming in at 46%. 25 in Smithfield, uh, upper 20s along the south shore, westerlies at 27. In fact, we'll take a look at our friends over at West Bay Retirement Living Center in Warwick, where it's 28 right now. Briefly hit 32, and it's already dropping. Uh, the wind gusts not too much of a factor, and that's good news. As cold as it will get, uh, the wind won't be very strong, so we're not talking about any kind of a bitter wind chills, but still uh, quite cold. Uh, tracking a cold front that will be passing through, just reinforcing uh, the colder air. Some snow showers in upstate New York, just a few patchy dry clouds overhead right now, but certainly not producing any precipitation. In fact, for this evening, essentially calm, cold, and quiet. By midnight, it's already down to 19 degrees with areas away from the coastline getting close to the upper single digits by uh, early tomorrow morning. You can see the leading edge of that second shot of reinforcing a uh, cold air in central and northern New England that will be dropping down overnight. So we'll be well below freezing. So by early tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., sunshine, that's it, only 11 above zero. And by 11 o'clock in the morning, uh, still no picnic here, only 20, so quite cold, but at least it's dry. We have some sunshine, and we're not indicating any kind of snow or ice. In fact, here's a more detailed look at the temperatures. Very simple, we'll just follow the clock right up in here, starting off this evening in the mid-20s. But watch the drop in temperature overnight. Of course, the northern suburbs are colder. Midnight, it's down to 13 in Smithfield. Upper teens along the south shore by around 6 o'clock in the morning, anywhere from around 8 to 11 above in our northwestern suburbs to the mid and upper teens along the south shore. Now, plenty of sunshine tomorrow, but it's ineffective sun. It doesn't really warm things up at all. In fact, the high temp tomorrow afternoon, only mid and uh, upper 20s. In fact, here it is city by city and town by town for tomorrow afternoon with temperatures mid and upper 20s. Sunshine, a, a breeze out of the west northwest at 5 to 15. Northern suburbs will be slightly colder around 24, 25. In fact, here it is hour by hour tomorrow afternoon. Bright sunshine, so sunglasses and a warm jacket. That's pretty much the weather gear for tomorrow afternoon. And out across southeastern Massachusetts, mid and upper 20s, plenty of sunshine, but uh, quite cold. All right, seven day outlook. Here's that storm free weather pattern that we're talking about. Temperatures start to moderate a little bit for the weekend and then uh, milder by next week as we get readings back into the low 40s. You see snowflakes on Sunday. Don't get excited. It's only a couple of flurries and some extra clouds on Sunday with a temperature at 37. Bottom line, uh, no big storms ahead. 10 degrees. Are you sure that wasn't a mistake? <laughs> 10 degrees. That is not a typo. Oh, <laughs> all right. Thanks, Tony. Yeah.